you've created a public-facing or public-accessible no-login Salesforce site, digital experience, community, whatever you prefer to call it. And you have a screen flow to capture information like I have here, to give information or whatever else you're doing with your screen flow. The run flows permission is no longer on the guest profile and it can't be assigned via permission set. So let's walk through what we need to do to give our guest users access to this flow. We're gonna start in setup and from the flows page. So I'm going to go to the flow that I want to give the guest user access to, and I'm gonna drop down on that action menu. You'll see the edit access button or label, click there. And then the override default behavior and restrict access to enabled profiles or permission sets is probably going to be set to false or unchecked. So you'll wanna check this and then go ahead and move all of your enabled profiles or the profiles where you wanna give access to this flow. And then click save. If you have more than one flow that you wanna give the guest user access to, you'll want to do this step for each one of those flows. After you do this and save, you'll want to go to the guest user profile. Remember, I'm not gonna be able to find that profile or that user from my normal user list or profile list. So I need to go into my site or my experience builder. When I go to the All Sites page, I'm going to click Builder on that page or on that site where my guest user <clears throat> is going to need access or going to be visiting. Click on the gear, the settings on the left, and then here you have the link to that guest user profile. I'm going to click there and then it's going to open up that guest user profile. We're going to scroll all the way down to the related list for flow access. You could certainly control F here and search for flow, but we're going to keep scrolling. There we go, almost at the very bottom of the page, enabled flow access. You'll see that I've already added my flow here when you come in, there's probably not going to be any flows here. So we want to click edit and then we would select any of those available flows and then move them to the enabled flows section and click save. If you don't see the flow in the available flows section, or if it's not available for you to move over to the enabled flows, a couple of things you want to check. One, did you complete the step prior to this? where we're giving that or edit access and we're overriding the default behavior. And then B, is this an active screen flow? So to appear in the experience builder to be accessible for our site guest user, it does have to be that active screen flow. Once you've completed those steps, your site guest users can visit your site, your digital experience, your community, and then they have access to that flow.